All right, what's going on guys? Uh, before I begin the video, I really want to let you know that I'm sorry for not making videos that much. Uh, with the whole Corona thing and my senior year being canceled, it was it was like kind of just a lost motivation to be honest. But here I am back at it again and today I'm going to show you how to use my new program SDIE. Now I made a tutorial about this before but I recently upgraded my program and it's not, it doesn't use CMD anymore basically. It uses like a GUI kind of. So it's just like buttons that you actually click. Without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is go to my website, futureflash.ga. And once you're here, you just click on SDIE. And once that loads, it will detect your system. In this case, it's Windows. So you just click download. And if you're a Mac, it will say detect the system would be Mac. Now this tutorial is for Windows only. The Mac tutorial is still the same. If you watch my old one, nothing changed. Because I'm not really into Mac, I'm not really going to update it. And I don't have a Mac device anymore to even test on it. So in this case, it's only Windows. So once it downloads, what you're going to do is open it. And if this pops up, click more info and run anyway. Now this is not a virus or anything. The only reason why you have to do this, my program is not signed and to sign it, you need a code sign certificate. And a code sign certificate is actually not cheap at all. It's very expensive and it's made for businesses primarily. So, and Windows does not support self-signing exe files. So, but it's not a virus, I promise you. Anyway, what you gotta do is just click run anyway. And then click yes. And it's just a, like a normal setup from there. You just click install and that's, pretty much it. You just click next and finish. Now once it finishes, go to your desktop and the icon should be right there. Now what you're going to do is connect your iOS device and once you do that, click enter recovery mode and your device should enter recovery mode. If you look at your screen, it should say the uh, lightning cable pointed to the laptop. Now anyway, click OK and once you see the screen on your device, click start. Your device should reboot now and right here it will ask you to save your output. So save it anywhere. I'm going to just save on my desktop. SDIE I put click save and then report was saved successfully would you like to open it now you can click yes or no but in this case I'm gonna click yes and once it opens it will just show you some information uh, like your UDID your ECID and uh, it tells you right here that's important your ECID, your ECID is showing a decimal value so you need to convert that to hectadecimal if you're gonna save your blobs but yeah it tells you your model identifier and your board configuration and your AP knots it's literally just a simple seven line text file and that's really all there is to it to be honest like you can just go back here connect your other device it's just straightforward like if you click about it will even show you what to do it's just literally just three steps and um, I also added to my program something called a nonce finder it's by a guy called Musa Pro but I just did a UI update as you can see if you click about created by Musta Pro and updated by Future Flash on uh, February 12, 2020. He's a great guy by the way, you guys should check him out below. He's a really nice person, he helped me a lot and I really appreciate him. But what this program does is essentially you browse for your blob file, uh, which the file extension should be .shsh2 and you should automatically try to find your nonce generator value so, so you can use this to downgrade or upgrade. So I'm going to show you a quick example right now, you just click browse and you look at your blob file, in this case the .shsh2, you click open and boom right there. That's your generator right there. It will automatically find it and you can just click copy and once you copy you just paste it. And that's about it like really. That's what you have to set your generator to if you want to downgrade using your blobs. But anyways that has been it guys. That has been the video. Leave a comment below. I hope it helps some of you. And if you want any new features added I'll try my best to add them. Just leave your ideas in the comments below. But yeah have a good rest of your day and subscribe. Peace.